It arrived from the void, a silent traveler on a hyperbolic path. Its name is 3, I slash ATLAS, the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected passing through our solar system. From the very first moment it appeared in the Atlas survey on July 1st, 2025, Astronomers knew something was different. Something about its behavior didn't fit the ordinary patterns of comets or asteroids we've seen before. What could this mean? What is this visitor trying to tell us? Telescopes across the world, from NASA's orbiting instruments to Chile's powerful observatories, quickly locked on. Its orbit was unmistakable, hyperbolic, not bound to the sun, meaning it had come from the depths of interstellar space. In that instant, 3I slash ATLAS joined the legendary ranks of Umuamua and 2 Orisov. But unlike them, its secrets were even more complex. Every observation raised a new mystery. What is it made of? Where did it come from? And could it carry the chemical fingerprints of a star system older than our own? Early light curves captured between March and August 2025 through the Atlas Network revealed subtle but fascinating details. Its brightness was steady, no strong periodic variation, and yet a faint, diffuse coma surrounded it. That meant it was active, shedding material into space even when it was far from the sun. But here's the strange part. It was already active more than 6.5 astronomical units away, a region too cold for water ice to sublimate. So what was driving this activity out there in the frozen dark? Then came the breakthrough that stunned the world. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, was aimed at 3I slash ATLAS while it was still inbound at 3.32 astronomical units. Using its NIRS PEC instrument, Webb captured infrared spectra from 0.6 to 5.3 microns, mapping the its gases and dust with unmatched precision. What it found shocked astronomers. The coma was dominated by carbon dioxide, CO2, far more than water. The ratio of CO2 to H2O was roughly 8 to 1, one of the highest ever recorded for any comet, interstellar or otherwise. Why is there so much carbon dioxide and so little water? Could 3 I slash ATLAS have formed in an environment completely unlike our solar system? Or has something about its surface trapped the water inside? Scientists propose several explanations. Maybe its nucleus is covered by an insulating crust, keeping the water ice buried beneath while CO2 escapes more freely. Or maybe it formed near the CO2 ice line in its parent star's disk, where frozen carbon dioxide dominates over water. Some even suggest that cosmic radiation, over billions of years in deep space, chemically altered its outer layers, changing how its ices behave. Each theory points to a different birthplace, a different chapter in our galaxy's long history. But the surprises didn't stop there. When astronomers studied its polarization, the way light scatters off its dust, they found something never seen before. The degree of negative polarization was extreme, reaching minus 2.7% around 7 degrees, with a very low inversion angle near 17 degrees. No known comet shows this combination. That means the dust particles in 3I slash ATLAS are unlike anything in our solar system. Could these grains be older, denser, or formed under alien conditions we've never encountered? Or could they represent a completely new category of interstellar material? Adding to the mystery, archival data showed that 3 I slash ATLAS was active even at 17 astronomical units long before its discovery. That's far beyond Jupiter's orbit, where sunlight is weak and water ice remains frozen solid. Whatever drives 3 I slash ATLAS's activity is far more volatile than water, possibly carbon monoxide or other exotic ices that sublimate in extreme cold. 
Could that mean it carries ingredients from the farthest reaches of a long-dead star system? As scientists traced its trajectory backward through time using data from Gaia and stellar catalogs, they tried to find where this traveler came from. But after running simulations millions of years into the past, no parent star or system matched its path. The object seems to have drifted through interstellar space for eons, maybe billions of years. One study suggests it may have originated between the Milky Way's thin and thick disks, possibly over 10 billion years old. If true, 3i slash ATLAS isn't just a comet. It's a messenger from the early galaxy, carrying frozen chemistry from a time before our sun even existed. Today, the scientific consensus is careful but fascinated. 3. I slash ATLAS is most likely a natural interstellar comet, but one with extreme and unique properties. Some researchers like Harvard's Avi Loeb have raised the idea of an artificial or engineered object not as a claim but as a thought experiment. Still, most astronomers insist the data so far fit natural explanations, even if those explanations challenge what we know about cometary science. But it leaves us wondering, how much do we really understand about the materials that float between the stars? Now, as 3i slash ATLAS nears its closest approach to the Sun around October 29th to 30th, 2025, telescopes worldwide are watching. JWST, Hubble, SPHEREX, and powerful ground-based instruments are gathering as much data as possible before it slips away forever into the dark. Scientists hope to learn more about its dust grain composition isotope ratios, and rotational behavior, searching for clues that could rewrite our understanding of interstellar bodies. But for every answer found, more questions arise. Why does it behave so differently from anything we've ever seen? Could its dust be the product of a star that lived and died before our sun? Is it possible that objects like 3i slash ATLAS are common? But we're only now learning how to recognize them. And most haunting of all, if these frozen visitors are drifting through space in all directions, what else might be out there waiting to cross our path next? 3i slash ATLAS is not just a comet. It's a cosmic message whispered across light years, a relic of creation itself, offering us a fleeting glimpse of how the universe built its worlds. Every observation, every photon we capture, brings us closer to understanding our galaxy's ancient secrets. Subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.